like it just been really really weird because I haven't had much to occupy my time because like I'd literally spend hours just watching every day and I wouldn't do anything else so now it's finished I'm like oh my gosh but this video is gonna be very random I think it's just gonna be like a ramble sort of thing so yeah um if you do enjoy please do like comment subscribe and yeah Also, don't forget to go support my Patreon if you're interested in extra content from me. There's loads of different tiers. I've got a video all about it. Um, I'll probably link it in the description. If not, just look at my channel and you'll find it. But yeah, I don't know what I'm really going to do in this video, but I'm just going to ramble probably and hope it comes out alright. Okay, so I've got my ring light on the warm setting today. I haven't got it on the white setting. I usually have it on the white setting, but I just changed it to the warm setting. And I thought it brought out the lights in the background more and it made them look nice when it gave like a more magical vibe. So if I change like it to the white setting, I'm going to show you now what it looks like. So this is what it would be like with the white setting, but I thought it just like, I don't know, it's more cozy with the warm. So yeah, we're recording with the warm setting today. just 
friends like they're not gonna get into a relationship which is kind of sad well really sad actually but like now i'll finish the season i'm just so upset that they didn't get together like there was one moment in um what was it it was in the second to last episode there's one moment in the second to last episode where like charlotte was trying to stop
asked what was going on recently and like I don't know like it's just so sad like
it's not even that like it's like the bigger picture like racism in general like how have you not realized that racism is going on it goes on every day like it's it's not it doesn't even have to be as severe as like it doesn't have to be as severe as like um being shot by the police or or like just being killed by the police in general like it, it's every day when someone makes a comment about yeah like when someone says something about yeah that makes you uncomfortable or says like oh um yes a mess yes unprofessional or says your nose is so big or like your skin's like charcoal or like like everyday situations or even like saying do you love watermelon or just like in everyday life like this is what i feel like this should be made about this is what this movement should be made about it should be made about like racism in everyday life racism as a whole is not just about these people who are dying it's about just black people in general and how people are treating black people like it's just so horrible it's like well and good for people to support the movement and different things like that but if you're not changing how you're treating the black people in your life and you're treating them with respect and you're not making them feel uncomfortable in different situations then what are you really doing like you can post as much like black lives matter stuff as you want but in real life if you're saying like the n-word around black people and then like gaslighting them and saying oh like it's only a word where you get mad or if you're like making a comment about someone's hair like saying they wear their natural hair out if you're saying they look like they got electrocuted or if you're just making different racial comments then what is the use in like it's gonna make you want to zero what is the use in like posting all this stuff because this is the thing and this is why I've said that we will see like after all of this is over after this is not a trend anymore because let's not lie a lot of the reason that people are posting is because it's trendy and because a lot of people are doing it people are thinking oh my gosh let me join in and it's not genuine like so i want to see after all this yeah i want to see if these people carry this energy into their everyday life like are you treating black people with the respect are you treating them like other people are you treating them as equals are you treating them like regular people or are you isolating them and making them feel alienated like that's what this is really about this is what we should be getting down to like this this black lives matter movement shouldn't just be about the killing of black people this should be about treating black people with respect in general and and just treating them with value and just acknowledging racism and like being open to having conversations about it and not being like defensive i feel like a lot of times like we, we can't like grow as people and like connect with each other because some people are very like like i don't know she's white like i couldn't have the conversations i have with her with every white person because i feel like when you try to discuss race with a lot of white people they like they they get defensive and they feel like guilty so they try to like deflect or like dismiss the situation and that's not what we should do if we want to really learn about each other and embrace our differences and like connect as people we need to be having open conversations without getting offended and feeling guilty like if someone you know if you say that the n word around someone like and someone corrects you or if someone like tries to educate you about it listen like don't deflect and say oh well you know it's in the song so so i can say or oh, blah 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 like to be actually honest like i don't really say the n word except from in if it's in a song i don't say it apart from that so like i'm not a part of that collective that does it like regularly like to their friends or anything like that i think that's more 
just urge you to take this time to just educate yourself and just like help out the people that need it and just you know just be an ally with us and just as I said realize the bigger picture that the bigger picture is just racism
sleep schedule but like you know what we're working on that that's gonna be a long 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 struggle honestly because like i don't know like i say to myself all the time i'm gonna go to sleep early and it doesn't work like i feel like i just need to force myself after this i'm never going to sleep but
so much.